Hi everyone, James here from barbecue.com and welcome back to another cook on the channel. And today we're going to be doing chili beef pasta. So as the seasons tick over into autumn, you're definitely noticing a little bit of a chill in the air. Uh, so we need something to heat us back up again. And that's why we're doing chili beef pasta today. So this is a pasta dish uh, with a little bit of heat in it. Again, pasta isn't traditionally done in the barbecue, but we're going to add uh, those barbecue flavours to it. We're going to cold roast the veg uh, that are going to go into the sauce later on. Uh, then the steak we're going to cook rather than doing it mixed in with the pasta uh, we're going to sear it off with a little bit of chilli seasoning on it and slice it up then to serve with the pasta later. And we're cooking this all on the Kamado Joe Classic. Uh, I have it fired up here at the minute, it's heating up to around 250 Celsius. The divide and conquer system then, I have it set up for split level cooking. So uh, we have one half of the deflector plate in the lowest level and the grate in the highest level. That's going to give us a little bit of an indirect zone. On the right hand side then I have it at its lowest level. This is where we're going to sear our steak. It's going to be sitting just above those coals uh, to get maximum heat. We also have this area and then if we need to move anything off into it. Uh, charcoal today we're using the Kamado Joe Big Block Charcoal and I have it all banked to one side and a couple of fire letters in there just to get it going. Um, so before we put this in we're going to go ahead and coal roast our veg. Um, so I'll move you over to the barbecue just and let you see how we put them in. So our big block has formed a good bed of coals, um, so we're going to go ahead and coal roast these veg. Uh, so we're going in with one red pepper, one green pepper, and then one onion. Just leave the skin on, that'll all come off whenever we peel them. And we'll close the lid down, let them do this thing. We check them every now and again, give them a flip round, but you want them to be completely charred on the outside, uh, and then we can take the skins off them later. So while the veg are roasting, let's take a look at the steak then. Uh, as I said, this is a beautiful sirloin steak from McAtamney's Butchers. Uh, lovely fat cap along the top of it here. Um, nice and thick, not too thick, um, but it's going to be perfect for slicing up and adding into this pasta later on. So to start off the chili, we're going with two ingredients. Uh, the first, we're going to hit them with a little bit of the Broiter Gold uh, chili rapeseed oil. So this is just a chili infused oil. So we're going to drizzle a little bit of that on each side. Glug on, rub it in. This is a really nice oil for cooking your steaks in anyway, but we're gonna take it up a notch now with the smoky bray uh, smoked chili rub as well. So again, this is one of the rubs. All the ingredients from Smoky Bray rubs are smoked. Uh, so this one includes smoked chili flakes. Um, it's a nice hot rub. Uh, so it's gonna go really well with this and add a bit of spice to it. So just give it a seasoning. You don't need to go too hard on it. It doesn't need a lot. Just give it a seasoning on each side. A quick pat in. Turn it over. Do the same thing on the other side. And if you season the plate, <coughs> you can then go round the edges just to make sure everything's covered. Remember the fat cap as well. So we're going to let that sit and rest for a little while uh, before we put it onto the barbecue. Uh, we can start work on the sauce now and get it put together and then this is only going to take a little while to get it cooked. So once the sauce is ready we can keep it warm, do the steak and then add everything together. Once your veg have charred on all sides and they've gone nice and soft, uh, you can lift them out. We're going to peel them later on and add them back into the sauce again to reheat. So don't worry about keeping them warm. Uh, don't be afraid, they will look horrendous. Uh, I'd say they're all charred all over and black. But we're going to get rid of all of that and all you'll be left with is that charcoal flavour in the veg. Again, it just takes the pasta dish to another level. So while we have the grill open, we'll go ahead and put the divide and conquer system in. lock that down into place. We'll let the grills come up to temperature, uh, we'll give them a quick clean down and then we're going to get the steak and the sauce on. So we've lifted this second half of the grate out of the way for now just to uh, get a skillet in here we're going to make the sauce in. I've preheated a good amount of olive oil in here. The first thing we're going to go in with is two chilies and uh, two cloves of garlic. Stir that around to fry it up. 
Once those are fried down and cooked down, you want to go in with around half a cup of passata. We can add in two teaspoons of dried oregano and a bit of a teaspoon of chili flakes. At this point you can add a dash of water just to thin it down a little bit. We want this to simmer for a while so don't want it to get too thick too quick. And next up, about two tablespoons of sriracha hot sauce. At this point we're going to lift it off the heat and go back in with the other half of the divide and conquer system and then move it up onto that indirect side. So whenever it's up off the direct heat, uh, we're gonna go in with around a quarter cup of double cream. And just give that a mix around. That's your sauce pretty much ready. So we're just gonna leave that up on that indirect side. It'll keep it warm. Uh, then we're gonna add everything into this skillet to bring it all together later on. So here's a quick trick with the veg. Um, as you can see, it's got all this blackened skin on it, but underneath, um, it's just nice cooked peppers. So if you've got a bowl of water, they should be cool enough now for you to handle. Uh, dip them into the bowl of cold water, and just slowly work your way around, and all that skin should peel off. Don't worry if they rip or you have to tear them into uh, different bits. They, we're going to slice these up anyway. And plus you want to get them open and get all them seeds out from the inside. And most of that's all starting to come off. I've tried it before without the water and it's been a disaster. So the water definitely makes it a lot easier to get rid of everything that's on them. And once it's done you have pepper, all that skin's gone. Just nice soft charcoal pepper. Now, it'll be cool at this point that you're putting it into cold water obviously, but we're going to slice this up really thin and mix it in through the pasta again to bring it up to temperature, so uh, don't worry about the temperature of it now, all you're concentrating on is getting rid of that skin. So just do the same again, onion, take off the outer layers, uh, the peppers, take off the skin, remove the seeds, and that's it, ready to go. So I've lifted the skillet off, purely in the interest of getting a decent camera angle on this, but now it's time to go on with the steak. Uh, so our veg are ready, our sauce is ready, uh, now all we have to do is cook the steak uh, and then we're going to mix everything together with the pasta. So our steak's been sitting with our seasoning on it now, um, that little bit of uh, chilli oil and the chilli rub from Smokey Ray. Uh, so we just need to set that on. This is nice and hot. We're going to turn this uh, every minute or so and just keep flipping it. We're not going to do it indirect. Uh, we're trying to get a nice crust on the outside, so we're going to keep it moving. Uh, we're not looking for sear marks, we are looking for an overall crust. So once your steak's off and resting then, you can get the sauce back on to warm up again and we're going to start bringing everything together now. I have about 300 grams of uh, tagliatelle pasta. Uh, you can use any pasta you want, I just prefer tagliatelle. Uh, so we're going to get, get that in with the sauce now, mix it about, add the veg back in and then slice up that steak and get it on top and we'll give it a try. So our sauce has been coming back up to temperature. The first thing we're going to do is get the veg in there. Lift them all and give them all a mix around, get them into the sauce. Next up we're going in with our pasta. Just get in there with your tongs. 
turning it around, get everything coated in it. And that's it, good to go. I'm just going to close the lid for a little while while we're going to slice up the steak and I'll let that warm up to temperature again. Uh, then we're going to dig in. I slice the steak up now. I'm going to go nice thin slices. Place these on top. That fat has gone so crispy. A little nice and pink in the middle. That's what they like. So, the steak's ready, pasta's ready. Let's plate up. Try some of that steak. It's so tender. That chili oil and chili rub. It's definitely hitting the spot so far. Give the pasta a try. Oh, it's good. Oh, the heat is brilliant. If you're not a fan of chili, I'm going to cut it down a little, cut the fresh chilli down maybe and uh, maybe leave out the chilli flakes or go for something a little bit milder and both together. That was awesome. So I just finished it off with a little bit of grated parmesan, some chopped chives on top or a little bit of greenery. Need it in there somewhere. But the veg are so soft. Cold roasting them has added a great flavour to them. Most dignified dish to eat. Again, the steak has the perfect amount of heat on it. So, I will leave a link in the description for the full recipe uh, with all the measurements and ingredients, uh, full method. Uh, you can check that out. If you do cook it, please tag me in your photos and I'll do my best to share them out across social media. Uh, all the links for my profiles are down below. That's awesome, my face. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.